spirit of the game. All right. So Alarian and H. All right, HK and, is uh, going to talk to them, talking to the, the sheriff. Um, yeah, HK is is hanging outside the. So I have Pepper, Pepper with me. All right, you and Pepper yeah. go check out the the. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go talk to the sheriff. The sheriff, he's uh, yeah. at the town office. Uh, he's on the other side. All right, he's at the town hall. Uh, there's another room on the outside. So there's that office part, and there's another part that has been the sheriff office. So he's in there. He's got Kristen there. Uh, he's got Diane there, the guard. Um, he sees back them in and goes, so, oh, oh, hello there. What did, what did you find? Hey, Sheriff, you know, we're investigating. You know, we're looking, asking oh. questions, looking around. And uh, I was actually hoping that you might be able to to help help me out with something. Uh, we're investigating the murder of the mayor. Of the you know, we've been asking people what they saw last night. You know, around town and around the scene. Uh, did last night when you were uh, taking your walk around one, a lot, a lot of people saw you. Did you see anything out of the ordinary around one last night while you were taking your walk around the town? I went home at ten. No, around one. People saw you walking around, so I was I, hoping I, maybe you I saw something. <laughs> Interesting. You me talk about. You okay? I, oh, that's possible. Oh, we've heard from here? most people that we've talked to. Going on here, Kristen. Now you see it. I was home. That's impossible. I was in bed with hmm. Miss. Interesting, because Kristen was with me. You were in bed with your miss, Misses, but both have were seen out last night. Huh? Curious. So. Close. You were definitely seen by a lot of people. I was really hoping you might be able to give us some insight. Hmm. So definitely, was it you out there? Of course not. Uh, Alarian, can you please give me a um, intimidation roll, please? At advantage. Intimidation? No, I'm not good at that. Oh, all right. Maybe I yeah. am. So uh, 17. Or wait. Uh, wait. Intimidation. Okay. Yeah, 17. All right, he's, he's rattled right now. He's definitely... You see sweat coming down. He's... uh. <laughs> He's definitely upset about this whole situation. He doesn't really not quite know to go. Now give me an insight check with advantage as well. Uh, insight. So 15. Okay. You definitely now have the thing that you kind of educate, kind of talk. Now, his mind has just imploded. He does not know what to do. He's frustrated, embarrassed. Uh, perplexed that now he's a suspect. His eyes that he's kind of shut down a bit and doesn't know what he's kind of like stuttering. It's like trying to figure out the workings and things, but he's definitely uh, confused at the information that you have given him. Did, did we get what his real name was? Oh, the sheriff? Yeah. Other than sheriff. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, the, sheriff. Uh, the sheriff's name is Reggie Tumbleberry. Leon. What, what was his last name? I, I did that thing with you in your session. I sent I sent wrong. But you did over here. Uh, his last name is uh, Tumblebum. Tumblebum? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's... Reggie, like we were telling you before, you know, there's a lot of things out there in this world that, you know, you guys aren't used to seeing here. I understand now that, you know, people yeah. thought they saw you, but it, it wasn't you. But now you see where we're coming from, where oh, know, God. Oh, Gina, God. Said, Gina said she saw Kristen, and it obviously wasn't Kristen, you know, it was 
there's something going on here where people might not be who they appear to be in this situation. You know, you're you were an easy, easy person to him. You know, a, a logical choice as a sheriff. No one's going to question you if they see you out. But now we know that it definitely wasn't you. So whoever was out there looking like you is our is our culprit. Oh, oh man. I don't know if I'm qualified for this. I think you're gonna have to take you're gonna have to figure this out, sir. It's all it's what all right. What are they gonna think? What are they gonna think I killed? Why, why don't you why don't you sit down? Can somebody get him a drink? Get him some water or something? <laughs> Shoot. Just t- take a deep breath. Take a deep breath, Reggie. It's a, it's gonna be okay. Oh no! Oh, everyone's gonna think I killed the sheriff. Oh, oh but I think Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I, I think I think now I think now we can see that you know maybe we can see now. Hopefully, you can see that you know your first your initial assessment of Kristen is wrong. You know that there's something deeper going on here. It's not simple and cut it and dry. So we know that there's definitely somebody involved yeah. in this town. That oh yeah, I definitely see that. Now. Doesn't belong here. Have you heard of anything that the mayor has been uh, so involved in? Done. No, no, involved anything but the ladies that come around here. He always tries to pick up the one that comes by, but oh, that's always been with Kristen. I mean, that's why just, just kind of crazy. Yeah, uh, he yeah. steps up and goes, Excuse me? So, okay. whoever was impersonating him then was somewhere around 1 a.m. near the bloated boar because I saw the sheriff or the so called sheriff walk by there. To go in that area around the bloated board around 1 a.m. That's when I saw the sheriff. So, sheriff said he was home with his wife. I saw the sheriff, but I didn't. She always has now that, now that you're saying it. I recall him being there about 1 a.m. I did my rounds. Okay, good to know. Good to know. That's some good information. Um, sheriff, are you? Has there any been any? Have you heard anything from the mayor about any threats or anybody, you know, being unusually angry with him? You know, from Gina, it seems like everything's always quiet in town. He barely always, ever talk. He just you know, anything. Right, right. I mean, I mean, there's been some venture and more adventures coming here through the town and heading up north. But I don't, I don't recall ever being a problem with anybody. Hmm. Okay. All right. So you definitely there wasn't. Uh, so there's definitely nobody that seemed like they would have have a, a, an axe to grind with the sheriff or have motivation to get him out of the way. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Interesting. Okay. No, we've had a, a few venture parties come in that we knew, but they went up north and never came out. Okay. All right, well, thank you, thank you for your help, Reggie. You know, you've been a lot of help. Uh, you know, I think we're gonna get through this. Why don't you just, you know, take a few minutes, you know, take some deep breaths and get ready for what's what's coming. We're gonna figure this out. Okay, so he un- he uh, he un- All right, Aleski and Ju, what are you guys doing? Well, we were going to go see the sheriff after we got done with the herbalist. So, okay, I think we're pretty much at the point of meeting back up with our compatriots here. Yep. At which point, when we meet up with them, we can uh, pass along the information that we've acquired. Okay. So the three of you and Pepper will. We meet as he's leaving the office, and you guys are coming up to the office of the townhouse where the sheriff is. And up All right. So, are we meeting outside where there's nobody else around, or 
don't want HK yelling at me if I'm talking uh, in front of somebody. Uh, there's not a whole lot of there's not a whole lot of people in the town. HK is not with you. You do have no. You don't have HK or Spoke. Spoke is uh over at the cloak, uh, trying to stake it out, see if he can find any other information that you know they weren't forthcoming with. And HK is just post posted up outside, keeping an eye on them. The biggest bit of information that we came across is the poison that was used in conjunction with slicing the mayor's throat is a poison of a very rare kind that has only ever seen been seen before on the blade of a 300 year old dark elf or a 300 year old blade of a dark elf but we're, right, so we're looking some... at we're looking at dark elf and a dark elf assassin is it all a dark elf poison or it's associated with this particular blade you said a 300 year old blade is it Associated with that, that particular my, blade, or my understanding, I don't know, Alexi, if you're the same. My understanding was it's particular to this blade that was used. Okay, by the so Dark okay, so we don't know who's in possession of it now. It, it's not, it's not definitely the blade. A Dark Elf because, yeah, the the herbalist was Elvin. She said that she is aware of the source of this poison. She saw three hundred years ago. It is a very magical poison associated with the blade of a dark elf. Okay. So I don't know how many of these blades exist, but um, it is so rare that it, it should be easily identifiable uh, if we find it uh, as being the source of the poison. Yeah, so but she had is, she the last time or the only time she's aware of it was three hundred years ago. Yeah. Huh. So there there is a chance that this blade could have been passed down, acquired elsewhere, um, or it could be currently possessed by a dark elf assassin. Okay. Well, we know that the murderer disguised themselves as two different people: Kristen and the sheriff. Already confirmed that the sheriff was seen in town walking at around 1 a.m., but it wasn't him. We also know that Kristen was seen around 10 ish, and we know it wasn't her. So the person has impersonated two separate people in town in this, in this evening. So a polymorph this self, a polymorph self would, would be able to achieve this. Also, using perspective, disguise self, changeling powers, these things can also result in being able to impersonate these two people at the, in the same evening. Um, so we're dealing with somebody who has access to a so powerful blade, somebody who can disguise two, themselves. Here's two possibilities, though. We could be looking at one person that went in as Kristen, committed the crime, left, and then changed into the sheriff to Yeah, because nobody's gonna no one's gonna escape. question him. Yeah, no right. one's gonna question or, the sheriff walking around town. Or we could be looking at potentially a, a two person hit job. One disguised as Kristen, the second disguised as the sheriff. Um, so, two possibilities. Either way, for this person or duo to take on the persona of these two individuals, they would have had to have known them or come into contact with them at some point to know what they look like to be able to take those personas on. Yeah. Um, well, the sheriff was, or the sheriff was seen around the bristling boar around 1 a.m. That's the end of our timeline. Kristen works at the bristling boar starting at, and that 
is the beginning of our timeline. So, so it could be somebody staying there as well or somebody who's been hanging around there because then it seems like they left the bristling board potentially as Kristen and returned as the sheriff. So we need to head over to the boar and investigate there and inquire who has been in and around that area yeah. in the last... Any other people staying days. there? Anybody who's been hanging be around? Yeah. I think I think we need to get HK and Spoke. So if that person might still be there, we're going to need the numbers to uh, corner them. Or prevent them from trying to sneak up on us. Yeah. I think I also want to consult the map that I purchased of the, the underground. I'm wondering if there are tunnels that run under this town right here that might uh, lead down into the deep dark areas where the dark elves like to live. As of yet, we still don't have a motive for for this murder. We don't know why it occurred. No. Nope. Well, Spoke is trying to uncover, you know, some possibly other information over at the the warm cloak. So um, I don't know if we would want to pull him out early or let him try to gather some more information. You know, this is kind of blending in as his specialty. He might be able to gather something. I don't know if we necessarily want to prematurely take him out and how we would even do that without blowing his cover. True, but his insight might prove helpful with dealing with you know, and I don't know what history he might have and knowledge he might have of a potential dark elf blade. assassin I mean, clan yeah. person. It, to me, this person, if this person is, if, if the blade is this rare, the person wielding it probably is known to somebody. It's a signature. Yeah. This isn't the first person that they've killed, yeah. whether it's for themselves or more than likely by hire. So my guess is if we ask the right person the right questions, they're going to know who this assassin is, who this killer is. Aleron, is there any chance that you could detect the this magic blade? Uh, um, I can detect magic. Um, I guess it would have to be in somewhat of a vicinity. Um, let me... Like if we were at the uh, <laughs> the bar, yeah, cause the, the the I might be able to tell if it was in the bar with us. Um, well, I suspect there's yeah. not a whole lot of magic in this town. Yeah, I mean it has to be within, you know, like a thirty foot range. You know, I can't detect that the blade is on the other end of town or anything. So we'll have to get within the same you know, room as it. And then I would be able to tell that there was something magical. I don't know if I could per se tell uh, you know, Juice we hey, found that's, the that's again. Blade, but uh, I could tell there's something magical. Talk to it. Tried to make... Well, Keegan and you're said right, that... There, uh, there, probably isn't, there probably isn't a lot almost tried to make of a other deal, magical we items to, uh, just hanging around this town. You know. It shouldn't be going off like crazy. So, Yes, Keegan said that this is a very magical poison. Um, so if you can tell the level of magic, then that might be an indicator as well. Well, I'll be able to tell if there is magic on an object or, you know, in the area. Hag hasn't been ruled out. Um, you know, I'll be able to detect if there's something in the room that is emanating a magical aura. But, uh, you know, the, there's limits to what I'll be able to do just by, 
you know, reaching out with my arcane senses. Uh, but I mean, we can go to the the boar, and I can definitely, you know, see if there's anything in the, in the room. You know, if perhaps the our suspect is still hanging around. You know, they as as you know, I've done some investigation work in the past. Uh, you know, a lot of these a lot of these individuals like to hang around an investigation as well. And kind of watch and see what's going on in the investigation. So he might still be around, you know, kind of admiring his handiwork and seeing people trying to figure out if it was, you know, if they can find who it is. You never know. So I think maybe going back to the board wouldn't be, you know, it's the afternoon, it's lunchtime. I could eat. I'm sure you guys could too. Uh, you know, maybe we just go back, get something to eat at the boar, and we can take that opportunity to maybe ask if anybody's anybody's been hanging around, other people staying there. I could try to detect if there's anything magical in the room. You know, we could... Uh, Papa will go. Did it happen at the townhouse where the mayor is? Yes. There's a chance I can walk What footprints are there and discern what I can from a trail aspect on a way, yeah. on a way to the blow. Yeah, that would be great. That would, uh, that's a great idea. You know, use, use your skill set. Yeah. She goes, she goes to the book. She goes to the townhouse part of it and goes, um, okay. It takes her about 20 minutes and goes, all right. Well, there's definitely no woman that walked in the box into the townhouse. And then I can see it's different, but there aren't any halfling footprints of era. There's a smaller print with boots, close to childlike. But it definitely isn't a woman. Very light. And I can tell you this is skilled at moving quietly. I can tell by the depression. It was a, it's definitely it's, towards a bloated boy. It's a small print or light, as in somebody who walks light, you know, has a light tread, small, light on their feet, like so smaller. If, if you say what you're saying, somebody tried to impress the sheriff, but the detail was the halfling feet. Apparently he didn't like to be barefooted with the feeling and went with boots. In the dark, I don't know how many people would be looking down with this part of it. There isn't a woman's depression going in from any heels because that's what Kristen kind of wears. These are definitely very padded, soft padded boots that normally rogues or, or hunters would, would, uh, would wear. Right, but they're but they're smaller. So is it somebody smaller a statue or another race other than human? Person that is sure smaller. He did it, but he did it not wearing the right. Yes. When we go to the boar, maybe I can see if the same prints are going anywhere else. Okay. Yeah. It does by all means follow them and all let's right. see. You know, follow the trail, see where, as far as it'll take us. Okay, she gets to the board and goes, he, ch he changed. I can't, I can't tell what from, from the feed here, but he didn't stand this formula. Okay, so from so what you can see, then you're, so yeah, you, in that matter of time. yeah, so you're definitely seeing that we're dealing with somebody's changing, yeah, changing anyway. themselves. So that's, hey, Kim, you know, I don't know what a changing is. All right, so it, it could be by magic, or we're dealing with somebody who's changing their appearance and size. All right. Uh, Alfred, Aleski, Jew, and Alarion, please give me a history check, and I'm going to give you advantage. Uh, 
14. <laughs> 26. Ooh. Damn, I have a plus does. seven in history. <laughs> oh, Alaski? Eight. It wasn't uh, advantageous for me at all. Okay, Alaron, you're thinking, you're thinking, you, you, you knowledge uh, from what, what's kind of going on. And putting these clues together now, investigation wise, you are definitely dealing with either. Two things you could possibly think of. Either A, a doppelganger, or B, a changeling. However, because you rolled so high, the doppelganger is less likely because it used kind of a weapon of note. The changeling would be more of something you have run into and you know of with a friend nearby that would seem to operate in that level. You don't even think at any point it was the green hag. The difference is the depressions that are kind of being used. Unless for some reason it's a high-powered sorcerer that would be doing the trick, which you don't think is practical because it just seems like someone of that in your own arrogance would have very petty reasons to deal with something as uh, a political figure um, in a town. That this seems okay. to be one of the shady underground service, that it has to be some type of assassin work. The quick changing of that, the only ever time you've seen that is with Spo. And that, so that's the only reason why you have that background experience and knowledge. Okay. It's something similar to him, and it has to be similar or the same rate that would able to pull off that quick of a move, that type of weight differential, as instantly as it possibly would, would be. Because the magic would be, again, have to be very extremely powerful to do the same type of impressions that Pepper found for you. Okay. All right, so we're at the we're at the board now. You're outside the bloated. Board. You're all outside the bloated board. Okay. All right, we need to figure out a way to get. And I might add a house across the way, across the because you guys are here. So the bloated board is that building up here. Yep. You have the sheriff right there. Uh, so right over here. Um. I think in that area right there. Right. Yeah. Right there is a big iron guy peeking around the corner doing an awful job at spine. <laughs> HK. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to walk right over He's to silent. him. He's silent. I'm being stealthy. I'm going to walk right over to him. I'm going to say, where is Spoke? I won't point him out, but he's right through the gla the window over there. Is he pointing at the boar? I'm not pointing. No, he's pointing at the uh, the, the warm cloak. It's the, uh, oh, okay. I thought the warm cloak was over by the woods. Right. The building yeah, I did, I didn't know. Uh, on yeah, I thought they were farther away from each other. Um, okay. Well, uh, you had left him at the cloak. Oh yeah. So okay. So he's, he's not. He's now further away from the cloak, but from the town square, he didn't cover his town square coverage. He kind of covered himself, being looked at from anyone coming out of the of the warm cloak. Okay. But from the town square, anybody can see this hunkering iron uh, dude peeking around the corner like he's looking at something uh, from that side. That's all I'm saying. I'm hit. Uh, but but spoke is still in the warm cloak, or he's out of the warm from cloak. Anyone looking from the warm cloak. Everybody else in town. He's in the window. We don't want them to hear me. You're a couple of houses away. And they can probably still hear him. You have gotten away. No, I mean, if they're outside the door, but you haven't seen anyone come out the door from, from what you see. So, HK, you've really not seen much uh, uh, besides the conversation I gave you earlier, but that's about it. Everyone else seems to be just started view. You're trying to do your best, but you're just not really made for this. You were made for other things. Oh, yeah. I know. Do any of the buildings the around the bloody board, do any of the buildings around the board uh, seem abandoned? 
Oh no, every every house is occupied. There is uh there are four shops that are directly nearby all this. Let me see if I can point some of these out. Uh so this one this one on this one, um, that big one, and that one are all shops. Two in the back. Okay, so check the security cameras. I I turn I turn to Aileron and, and and just say he asked me to back away so they couldn't see me. And do you think I'm far enough back? Yes. Mm, perfect. Maybe six inches more to your left will be perfect. I'll do that. Pepper shaking her head, going no. You, do you want me to put some leaves around you or something? <laughs> I, I want to be helpful, but I want to be able to protect him. <laughs> oh, right. Do you want me to do it? You're doing or, a great job there, Iron No. <laughs> okay. Or do you want to leave him? I ask you honestly, am I being successful in protecting him and being hidden? Uh, successful in protecting him. In hidden, not at all. Yeah, Pepper shaking her head as well. Then you must hide and protect him for me. Uh, okay, I'll do it. Well, why don't uh, we just? I will step far there. back and let her do her thing. As long as I know he's protected, I can. I can. Right. I, can I'll take off. I can leave. Okay. All right. So you're you're. All right, so what's, tracker, what's the tracker just left to go to play guard dude? What's the plan here? Are we gonna go investigate the boar? I mean, I think we kind of need Spoke's input at this point. And I'm guessing Aleron relayed the information about his assumptions of the changeling to us. You're muted, Alara. Hey, he's hey. muted if you're talking to us. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, brother. I'm, I'm speaking so quietly because I don't want anybody else to hear us. <laughs> um, His stealth is on point. <laughs> yeah, you know. That was really good. So, I didn't even hear you. I'm next uh, to you. That's the um, we're definitely <laughs> dealing. We're definitely dealing with a changeling. I, from, every, from all the clues we've gathered so far, I could definitely say that we're dealing with a changeling. We need Spoke's insight on this. Yeah, we got to pull, we um, pull Spoke out of there and talk to him. I'm oh. not sure what the best way to safely and quietly pull him out is. I could get close to the... Alexa, no. and then you're familiar. And, no, I could... I mean, if they can be... Invisible, maybe I could clear out the the tavern. I could make it smell so bad in there that everybody's gonna come running out, and then they'll definitely you know. know it's smoke. Then, no, don't do that. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> I guess Alexa, you know, can you send? Can you send your familiar in undetected to like just drop him a hint that he needs to come out? I know. Uh, I can definitely ask my familiar to go. In invisible and find him, but I'm not sure that how they would communicate that Spoke would understand to leave without a sprite just showing up in the middle of the room. Knock I can over tell you glass onto his pants, so he has to like leave. I I can tell you this: he probably didn't start doing anything until I left my post. When I was relieved from my post, is probably when he began whatever he was planning on doing. Which is understandable, but at this point, I don't know. I don't know what other information he's going to get that well, we would be beneficial if we relayed what we know. If we're dealing with another changeling, he needs to know because there's a high possibility that he might be familiar with the person in question. Um, there's always the possibility that if there's a changeling that this person is tracking Spoke and trying to frame him. We could put a note, tie it to an arrow, and shoot the arrow so it hits the table in front of him, and he would be the first to grab it. 
and that's less obvious than a. Well, I don't, I don't familiar. shoot arrows, so they know it wasn't me. It, yeah, Alexi, think of something. Get, pull him out of the bar. <laughs> I have just the thought. I'll take care of it. Thank you. So, um, so I will just go in the bar, being my normal, even upstanding, upstanding. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk away and head into the, into the bar, just being my normal, upstanding, looking individual that I am. And um, I'm just gonna kind uh, of. You see, uh, well, you see uh, the owner, the, the uh, bouncer. Uh, the Bar, and there's an old dude sitting at the bar eating. You don't see, you don't see spoke. Yeah. So, and I was, I was kind of expecting not to see him, even if I do. Um, so I'm just going to go up to the bartender, and uh, you know, just okay. um, we're looking uh, for our friend. I don't know if he came back here. Um, my friend spoke. Um, he was here earlier with me, and we came and got, no, 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 or yes. we were talking with Pepper. Um, we're we split up to do different things around town. And I'm trying to track him down. I didn't know if he came back here to get something or eat or not. Um, if you see him, can you let him know that uh, you know we're we're getting ready to leave town? Sure. He holds out a. Um, I I've got I've got uh, a couple of coins left, so I'll I'll drop two gold. I appreciate you helping us out. Um, Thanks for, for taking, you know, if you do see him, thanks for letting him know. Will do. And then I'll just walk out. Okay. All right. So you guys all, you go back. Spoke, what are you doing? Are you leaving now? Um, <clears throat> I'd probably, um, I, I'd like look at Holly and be like, Oh, looks like a lot of people are looking for people today, huh? Guess so. It looks like that bunch can't keep tabs on themselves, and they're supposed to try to figure out who murdered who. Okay, well, I suppose I've, I suppose I've done enough drinking for one day. I'll get out of your hair. Thank you very much. I'll leave her a, um, I'll leave her a five gold extra for a tip. Cool. 